Alright, so this is the second part. I've already moved the 6 disc changer Ford Explorer. Uh, this is from my 02 Ford Explorer. Basically, I'm going to do a little bit of detail on how to take this apart to get into the actual mechanism where the CDs are. Alright, so we've got the 15 millimeter Torx. You can use that as a regular screwdriver unit. Um, I have mine as these two separate units, so any 15 millimeter Torx will work for you to take apart the main screws that hold the casing together. You're going to need something like this that'll work great. It's basically like the tweezers with a lock and a nice long reach. This is great because it holds the springs while you manipulate the springs. You're going to need the small screwdriver, Phillips of course. Uh, this is great of course because you'll be able to take apart the uh, screws that are on the housing of the CD player itself. Assistant tools would be like a small thin flathead screwdriver and or uh, something like a dental pick. Um, dental picks are great to pick up the spring in case it you know pops off and goes into the mechanism. This is a way to kind of reach in, grab it and pull it up. This has been a great tool for me to use once I've grabbed the spring with this tool and put it over a hook. I can use this one to hold it on the hook until I release so it doesn't pop off. So assistant tools, need it, need it, definitely need it to take apart. All right. So, first thing you want to do, looking at it all the way around, this is how your unit is set up. You're going to start out by removing these two, and on the other side, these two. Very easy to do. You're going to use a uh, Torx for that to just simply unscrew it and back it out. I've already kind of pre-done most of these, so it's going to be relatively easy for me to do it, but for you, you're going to need to... Uh, of course, put a little extra pressure onto it. Again, this is the uh, second side. Just gonna take it and remove that. All right. After removing those four screws, quite simply, this upper part now will just lift upwards. And uh, by the way, before I do that, inside, there's these little tabs inside, right here. You can barely see it but there's one there and there's also one on the other side. These tabs is what kind of lock it in place so you don't actually pull it out, you actually will lift up to take it out. Uh, before doing that, I'll turn it around for you so you can see that I'm lifting up so that the tabs are still kind of in place and then you will lift out, all right? Now, once you get to that point, you don't want to take it all off completely because you have some wires connected inside of here. What ends up happening as you lift it up, you'll have a wire and a ribbon in your way. The wire has a little edge right here. You just kind of can get a small little flat screwdriver or your fingernail, either one. And you're just going to gently pull it straight down from the sides and it will come out. There's just basically a little plastic tab that holds that into position. So that will come out. I'm going to go ahead and do it with my fingernails so I can give it a proper pressure. And it comes out just like that. A little bit higher and you'll be able to see the ribbon cable. That ribbon basically has that little edge right there. Right now it was down because I took it out earlier. But this is what you want to separate by pulling it down. You can do that again with the little flat edge or you can do it with your fingernail. And then you just, once you get it down, it just slides out like that and that allows you to disconnect the whole unit. Okay. You'll be able to set that aside. Don't lose any of your screws. Otherwise, you could be in a lot of trouble. All right, next step. What we'll be doing is um, taking off this cover. The cover will have on this side these two and this one, that's the 10 Torx as well. I'm sorry, not the 10 Torx, that's the um, screwdriver. So I have like a little small fine screwdriver Phillips to take those off. And on the other side, you'll have this one and this one. And then on the back, you'll have this one. So those are the ones you want to take off next. These are all Phillips. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pull that out of there for you. 
that's the one in the back. This is the side that has three. So we'll go ahead and take that lower one out. The second lower one out. And the upper one. And what I want to show you also on this upper one, when you go to put it back in, see if we can get a nice focus in on it here. When you go to put that upper one in, the tab right inside there. See how that moves? It slides in there just like that. You want to make sure you put it in there as well on the lower. You want to make sure that it's on this side. Okay? Make sure it's on the other side. You'll see it kind of coming. Make sure it's on the other side as you reassemble. There's little notes for you for reassembly later. This is the side that has the two left. So that's the one on top. And then the other on top. So now at this point, I'm able to just lift that off. And there we are. Okay. And as you see, they've definitely got CDs in there. So definitely my issue that's going on. All right, now I've gotten the top off. You want to get to the springs. There are three springs that you'll be working on here. One is over here and attaches right there. The second one is over here. You can barely see it, but it's hanging on right at the edge there. Let me get that an angle for you, see if that'll help you out a little bit. See that little spring in there? That spring right there. Let's see if I can get a better angle for you guys. Sorry about that. So it's a little spring right there. And the third spring is up in here. Can you see it? There it is, right in there. That's where the third spring is. All right, so you're gonna remove those three springs. My goal will be to take the springs off their hooks and kind of lean them over the side on all these three areas. And that will give me access to take off the top, which is these units here. I've already taken one spring off, so as you see, it'll be able to let you go off, and then you'll be able to peel these off in order to uh, get to the CDs, which definitely you can see this CD is way out of alignment, so this is probably the issue of why it's stuck. So one I've already taken off and put in its place. The second one I'm gonna get in here. Turn it around a little bit. It's basically just kind of like a little hook spring on, or a hook on the end of the spring that you're going to take off. This one is a little bit more difficult because it has less clearance. The reason why I'm hooking it on the side is because I don't want to have to try to figure out how to get it off the bottom. All right. Sorry about the focus, guys. I'm going to put this in place and then I'll show you how I move the springs up and where I move them to. Let me go ahead and turn it one more time to access my third spring. The other guy's video that shows how he did this, he's more than likely done this several times and it's really easy for him. So it's taking me a little while and I'm getting horrible angles for you, but hopefully you'll be able to get that information. All right, so I've removed the springs. So now I'm gonna give you a nice close-up of what I did there so that you'll have something to kind of relate to in your workings. See if I can get a focus on it. Right there is the hook that the spring goes on to. I basically pulled it up and connected it over there onto that little wall. Can you see that? Yes? All right, so I pulled the spring up and connected it onto the wall, just to kind of give it a place to little hold on to there. The second spring, let's so see how I've kind of hooked that spring on the wall. And that spring hooks onto the little clip right there behind it. See that little clip right there, this little pin? That's what it hooks onto. The clip in the corner, I've done similar to it. It's basically, let me get you uh, some light in here. There we are. Can you see it in there? So I pulled that over 
so that it holds on to the wall and it clips basically right back in there okay third spring is a little bit harder to get to but I've taken it and put it on the wall here see it right there and the clip that it holds on to is right here that little edge right there that's where it's gonna hold on to so as the guy did on his YouTube video he basically grabs these now and they just pull right on out basically don't want to uh, get any of these stuck so yeah I just pulled out all right there seems to be like little guide pins here that I want to show you that's a little guide pin and that guide pin goes into a little hole and that lines up all the trays and then there's another one here you can see it very clearly and it goes into that hole and helps to line up all the trays. So when you go to put that together, make sure your holes are lined up with your pin or your pin is lined up with those holes, okay? Yeah, I do apologize, guys. I'm doing this one-handed. I've never done it before. So uh, my focus is kind of really sucky, but I'm trying to take the time to show you guys what's going on with it. All right, so. Trays come out. That's a cover, we'll call it. Second tray. Okay, there's guide pins here as well. I want to show you. Make sure it stays in place. That seems to be an alignment guide pin for the back end of the trays. And then similar to that is on this end, this black one right here. Seems to be a guide pin for those trays. There's little springs and stuff in there. So as you slide that out, let me uh, zoom out for you. As you slide them out, see there? It's on the guide pins. So make sure when you put it back together, you put it back together onto those pins, okay? So that's gonna be the first tray. I'm gonna put this upside down to represent the top and so on. So these all are pretty simple from that point. Okay, moving forward. Excellent. All right, there's the first CD, which is way off alignment. It's probably what's causing the whole area because it's just completely stuck. So I'm gonna take that out. A little Bob Marley or pure reggae. Maybe it's the sun, I don't know. All right, next tray. Again, it's on that guide. It's on this guide, so that's how we're gonna replace it back into place. All right. Seems like they had little Wayne, so again, we're just gonna carefully take this out. Now, considering how stuck that other one was, I'm really hoping this resolves the issue. And then I won't have anything to worry about. Now, something I wanna show you right here. Can you see that? Let me zoom into it for you. See my guide pin and see that little part right there, it's not in the right place. So this is just because right now when I was taking it off, it wasn't on alignment. So let me show you up close, get a focus on it. It needs to go on like that. So be careful that it doesn't slide this way. It needs to go over it like that. Okay guys, all right, cool. And continuing to take that out. Let me uh, zoom back out for you. I guess the uh, previous owner of this Explorer liked this kind of music, which that's fine. Um, all it meant is the CD player got stuck, or the CDs got stuck in the CD player. All right, and I think that's the last one that was in there. So now I'm gonna make sure all of my pins are lined up properly and back where they belong. And I'm gonna put all of these back in place. So I lined it up here so that it will be reverse putting it in. So this one's easy because it just slides on there. See, it just slides on. That one's cool, it's in place. And I'll do that for each one.
again, I'm just kind of putting everything back. Putting everything back. On the edge, and sliding it in the corner. And then I've got my top piece that I'm gonna line up the pins to make sure they're going into the holes on both sides. And putting them back in place where they belong. You're gonna set your cover tray in, line up that pin with the guide holes. Remember the one I was pointing to earlier. Let's see if I can zoom in for you. Remember that, lining up. Gonna have this little edge here. Put this on the inside of that, okay? So it slides down. See, that's my spring holding onto the wall for me. On the back end, it's easy. It just kind of goes in place. I'm gonna go ahead and flip this around. On the other side, very similar. Make sure your guide is in place. Remember the guide pins that I had mentioned earlier. Make sure they're in place. Going through the CDs, the little lever. It's on the other side of this, and you see the spring where I pushed it earlier to kind of hold on to it. And then this corner, all right, it's raised a little bit. I'm just going to kind of push it down so that's in the right position and make sure it's not holding on to the spring. All right, so once I have all of that into place. I pretty much reassembled. Gonna go ahead and put everything back on. I don't have a, uh, a true workbench where I have electricity and can plug it in and test it and everything. So I'm gonna set it all up, put it back in the car. So from this point, basically, I've got this in place. I'm gonna put my cover back on, put the screws back on for that, mount the whole thing. Not forgetting, of course, my ribbon cable and wire that needs to reconnect, putting all my screws back into place and um, seeing if that's success. But anyway, that's a little bit more detail of the breakdown of the CD player for the Ford Explorer. So basically all I'm doing is uh, making sure my alignment is good and all my pieces are in place. I'm making sure that my spring is not gonna get lost. And putting my springs back onto their little clips. Cool part about this is actually, I'm lifting it up to get my spring in place. Grab my other spring. There's a little hook on the side for that one. This is the one that's hard to get to because it's so close to the wall. So I'm going to lift it up to kind of cheat it a little bit. To kind of give me a better access to it. Hope you guys can see that. I'm also going to use my second piece. I used a screwdriver. So what I got to do is push that on. Yep, and sure enough, I lost it in there. So I'm doing a little digging to get it out. But I have to do, I guess, like the other guy's video, start over, which basically means pull that last spring. Gonna have it hold onto the wall so it doesn't stretch it out of place. All right, holding onto the wall. Cool thing is, once you've gotten to that level, you can actually just lift up all of them at the same time to take them out. That's how I saw the guy do it. Let's see if I can do that as well. Yep. Releasing it on both sides very carefully, just pulling them up. Every one of them all up and out. All right, with it all up and out, my spring is right here. I'm just gonna pick that up and put it back onto the wall. All right, I've 
unlocks the other side of what it hooks onto. So, based on the other side, I can see what that hooks onto. So, that little hook is what the end of the spring needs to connect to. I basically held onto the spring here. Just kind of go underneath a little bit. And up. And, boy, I did it two times really well. It's the third time. There we are. And it holds on. All right. And then I'm just going to put it back over here on the wall to have it rest there for the rest of my assembly. All right. So that's the detail of how to uh, get those springs in place. There's another one on the other side similar to that. And it goes to the same kind of mechanism, that little slide hook right there.